Hi, my beautiful scented people. Welcome back to my world of fragrance. I'm back. I'm back from Dubai. I had an amazing trip over there. And if you haven't already, go check out my video where I take you perfume hunting with me in Dubai. Dubai was just like mind blowing. I had such an amazing time. If you're a frag head, you really need to go over there because fragrance is such an important part of Middle Eastern culture. And I love the fact that they really celebrate that and they take their fragrance really seriously over there. So mind you, if you're looking for a really huge haul video where like I show you 50 different fragrances, this is not it. This is like a mini haul I'd like to call it because I did put a ban on myself for buying too much. <laughs> I actually said that I should only buy one fragrance while I was over there and it had to be something really special. I did end up getting more than one fragrance though. Yeah, my bad. Um, I really tried to contain myself because there's no point in me just buying everything under the sun. I'm not here to collect fragrances. It just ends up being a collection because I love so many things. Being a collector is not my goal, <laughs> believe it or not. So I'm gonna show you what I got right now. So I'm gonna take this in the order of which boutique I went to first. And I was lucky enough to actually find Yusuf, the perfume maker. Um, his boutique was the second shop that I walked into and it was all by chance. So uh, leaving the gold souk and entering the knife souk, I walked into his store and I really wanted to get a fragrance made by him. So I paid maybe like around 18 pounds for this perfume. So it absolutely is affordable if any of you were wondering. So the bottle itself is nothing crazy like you're not paying for packaging really and he had a shelf full of like empty bottles that you could choose from so i chose this bottle myself it's like crackled up here it's not you know the best quality bottle but um it was just a special experience having him create this for me right in front of my eyes. And I was quite picky because like, I didn't want to have any clone. Um, if you're interested in clones, then that's a really good place to be because there are loads and loads of clones, but I didn't want a clone. I wanted a perfume that was special to me. And you know what? He could have made this for maybe other people and told me it was something special. I don't know, but um, he was very, like sure of himself and really knew what to create if you gave him the right guidelines. So this is my leathery fragrance. It's a leathery spicy fragrance. I asked him for spice and that's what he put in here. Um, let me just spray this. It's very, very strong. It's actually quite masculine, um, I would say. So this is a unisex fragrance that I got made for me. And this is probably going to last me a long time because it is very strong as well. I'm not sure about the ingredients being natural and all of that because at this price, like come on, 18 pounds, they're probably not. But Yusuf did a great job and I love this fragrance. It kind of reminds me of Italian leather by Mimo. So if you like that fragrance, that's like kind of the vibe that I have. Anyways, this was special to me. So I'm going to move on from this one. So after passing this boutique, I went to a place called My Perfumes. And oh, by the way, like, I'm so sorry about the shakiness of that vlog video. Like, I'm no cameraman or professional. I'm really just trying to get comfortable with filming out in public and just filming in general, really. So apologies for that. And I'm definitely going to be getting better the more practice that I get. So anyways, um, in My Perfumes, they had these special fragrances that they made themselves. So it was a shop and they also had their own like private label. So I saw these water perfumes and right now there are certain high-end slash luxury brands out there that are marketing towards like Europeans saying that they're pioneers in water perfumes. So these perfumes have no alcohol in them, they're water-based and so they're safe to spray like on skin and you can spray them in your hair without it drying out. Um, and it was funny that I saw them in this shop because the guy was like saying how they had been making these for years. So interesting that certain brands are pioneers and then you go somewhere else in the world and they've been doing it all along. So anyways, buy my perfumes. This is the box that it came in. I haven't done an unboxing of this on Instagram because it's nothing special really like packaging wise. And this cost me maybe like two pounds. <laughs> so, uh, 
pretty good price and this says water perfume oud Sharkia. and this is actually a um, musk and oud blend and it just smells very fresh clean yeah it just smells like soapy like you just got out of the shower except like a Middle Eastern shower or you just got out of the hammam um, it's like refreshing in that way but it definitely has oriental vibes to it and I just love it I love the white liquid I have recently bought one of those high-end luxury perfumes that you know have this water-based formula so I'm gonna be reviewing that later and I might do a comparison of how this compares to that because this was two pounds like and I paid maybe like, like closer to like 200 for the other one so um, yeah just a cute little bottle of this and the mist is just like you know this white milky stuff so it's a nice experience you know spraying this and I'm enjoying it so far um, yeah, that was from my perfumes. So something that I made a mission for myself on this trip was to buy a Bakur burner. And uh, let me know down below if there's a specific name for these. But I wanted to burn some Bakur in my house because I just love, like, when Middle Eastern people walk past me and they're wearing their long black robes and I get this, like, waft of something smoky, beautiful, burnt wood, um, it just... I just find it mesmerizing. So I want to smell like that. I mean, why not? So I got myself actually a Bacour burner and this is a small size because I have a toddler at home. So I wanted to make sure that it was like on the safer side. You can get big, beautiful, um, ornate ones that are all open and everything. But I wanted one that was closed so that it was like more toddler friendly, even though I'm going to put this far away from him. And um, this is just like a nice small size so that I can burn this in my bedroom or in my living room. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try that out. I just, like I said, I just love that like smell um, that Middle Eastern people have when they've like burnt this. And you can burn this in your home, you can burn it underneath your clothing as well. And whatever atmosphere that you've burnt this in, it will just draw into your clothing and whatever it is that you're wearing and you know the scent of the smokiness is going to be absorbed so that you're just going to smell great whenever you leave your house that's my goal anyways so there's my bakur burner and then i got some oud to burn inside of it i was just going to say i have no idea what that means but uh oud malt atar cambodi so this is um cambodian oud that i bought and actually let me unwrap this for you so that you get to see what it looks like. So yeah, it comes in this little round thing. And this is like the more pricey variety, I would say. You could probably like get a cheaper variety of this. Um, there are also people who make it themselves and like burn whatever concoction that they've created. Um, but I just wanted to get something a little bit fancy and then inside it comes in this little bag and then you have the actual oud on the inside and these are little like chips that are all oily mm, smells so good um, and if that's your vibe then try these out I mean I'm sure you could get these in like local uh, ethnic shops in larger cities as well but I just wanted this to be a part of my trip that I got something specifically from Dubai so I also have another one over here um, Oud Maltar Kususi this is another type of oud that also smelled really great so now we have something that I'm really excited to show you and this is actually what my whole quest was about. <laughs> the ultimate oud um, perfume and I wasn't looking for an atar because I'm just, I don't know, I just wasn't in the headspace to look for one. I prefer to spray my fragrances because I like my clothing to be, you know, covered in um, the perfume that I'm wearing as well. So I went for a spray of an oud and this is Elite Oud by Oud Elite was the brand. And um, this was a local house, I believe. This is just like a huge hyper-masculine bottle. But um, the guy in the shop was like trying to 
introduced me to oud slowly but i was like i know all about it and i want the strongest that you have so give it to me man <laughs> he started off with like the fresher ones then he went gradually stronger and stronger and then bam we have oud elite this smells like a camel that's been rolling around in dirt um at sunset <laughs> but in the best way possible i love this this is the what people call skanky oud and this is just phenomenal when it dries down so initially you're kind of taken aback because it is somewhat stinky and i call oud the blue cheese of fragrance you either love it or you hate it so <laughs> i love it and if you find that you don't love it you know initially or just yet just keep going back to it whenever there's something in general in perfumery that you're not so keen on just keep going back to it keep revisiting it every once in a while and your nose will slowly adapt or like adjust to it it's an acquired taste like anything can be acquired taste in my opinion as long as you're like you know exposed to it a certain number of times for you and um yeah, I'm just really happy that I found this one. It has wood in the lid. The juice is lovely brown. Um, they didn't let me know what type of oud this was from, like where it was from worldwide, like location-wise. All I can say is I love it and I'm happy, so. <laughs> Woo, that is some skank. I feel like you could also use this to kind of like amp up uh, a certain fragrance that you have that you know could match well with this so if you're wearing like a floral that would go well with this you could amp it up with some skank uh the oud factor you can um wear this on its own i love her on her own of course i actually wore this when i went out to the desert <laughs> i was like i had just bought it and then i went on a desert safari and i was like what else should i wear on a desert safari than what people actually wear out in the deserts so i wore my skank oud and i said hi to the camels smelling like a camel myself and i was a happy soul so <laughs> this is oud elite check them out and this was very affordable again i'll leave the price here um and they had like a half off price offer i don't know if that was like made up or whatever for me because like they love doing business and they'll you know you can bargain with them you can tell them what's the price for two and so on um so they gave me like a half price offer and i could get like 50 percent off a second bottle or like a second bottle for free for some whatever um but they had all these promotions that they were like throwing at me like just buy something you know <laughs> so yeah happy with that purchase and then last but not least, when I was in Abu Dhabi, I walked into Al Jazeera Perfumes. And this brand has um, shops across the Middle East. And they also have, I think it's like a perfume museum in Paris, but they have a boutique there for sure. And I had never heard of Al Jazeera Perfumes before. So let me know down below if this is like a famous brand, but um, they were on the pricey side, definitely on the pricey side for like Middle Eastern scents. This was like more premium. This was in the mall, whereas the other things that I've purchased were at the souks. So um, this being a brand in itself, you're paying a lot for like packaging and marketing and all that jazz. So I'm going to unbox this actually both here and on my Instagram. Why don't I just multitask and do it both places at once? So I'm going to get set up for that. <laughs> Okay, so I've set up my phone down here to record my unboxing for my Instagram. So let's see how this goes. A little experiment to see if I can like hit two birds with one stone. So I have my trusty knife and let us open her up. I really feel the pressure being on because I'm doing both things at once, but. go and then uh, what would you call this color it's like turquoise so it's like tur a turquoise box all of their bottles had um different like really vibrant colors so it's a part of their whole branding and this is the box itself yes here's the bottle it says chateau so chateau i don't know like a lot of these brands I couldn't find any more information about. I don't know what notes are in here, 
Um, I barely remember what the guy said because I tried so many different things and I was just like, this one I love. So let's sniff her again, shall we? Okay, so this smells like my scarf. It's citrusy, it's slightly woody. This is an absolutely unique fragrance. I've never smelled anything like Chateau. And the guy at the store, his name was Sam too, by the way. Hi, Sam, if you're watching. He did this magnificent thing. If you've seen my vlog, then you know this, where he like had the bakor, he put my scarf over the bakor. And so the smoke was coming from underneath and then he was spraying the fragrance on top to really make it last. And he was absolutely right because that scarf still smells like projects like crazy of this fragrance mixed with the bakur. So if you're into like super intense, it was actually even too intense for me. Let me just say it was too intense for me. So I'm not gonna be doing that again, but uh, maybe just the bakur on its own. But if you really like something intense, then try that trick and you won't be disappointed. Chateau is just, I will put the price down below. I actually don't remember what it was. But um, like I said, it was on the higher end and they did have Montal in this uh, store as well. But, you know, I didn't look at any of the Western brands. Um, but yeah, I'm just super happy with my Chateau. I'm going to maybe do like another review of this if there are requests for it. But yeah, this is just a stunning, strong, spicy, masculine, yet still fresh fragrance. Like... A really unique one so yeah so that was it for my haul guys I really hope you enjoyed it and my next video is gonna be all about the house of Chanel and I have so many other things in store for you um, I'm trying to upload on a weekly basis it's been going like crap lately but <laughs> bear with me I'm gonna get faster better stronger all of that <laughs> with my videos and um, yeah I'll see you next time hope you enjoyed but bear with me, I'm gonna get faster and better, stronger, <laughs> faster, better. Blah, blah, blah.